I would run out of fingers if I was to count the long list of people who have ever asked me if I speak African. Let's put this to bed. Perhaps an effective way to explain is to equate the question, do you speak African, to another question. Does anyone speak European? Or does anyone speak Asian? Or does anyone speak American or Australian? Why? because no one can speak a place. One of the most fascinating aspects of the African continent is the incredible high level of linguistic diversity. How many languages are spoken in Africa? Well, the 1.2 billion plus people living in the continent express themselves in more than 3,000 distinct languages. However, if you speak English, French, and Portuguese combined, chances are you will be able to converse with approximately a third of Africa's entire population. In this video, I want to talk not only about the native speakers, but also the overall number, and briefly go through the top 10 most spoken languages in Africa. Also, while it's not easy to count specifics to the last man due to shifting population numbers, you may find other sources that list the languages differently. However, this one is based on the latest census populations in various countries, so it's pretty much solid. At number 10, we have the Amazigh languages, also known as Berber. The number of Amazigh people is much higher than the number of speakers who speak the language, who add up to about 14 million people. They comprise a group of closely related languages who are indigenous to North Africa. The languages were traditionally written with the ancient Libico Berber script, which now exists in the form of Tifinag. Amazigh languages are spoken by large populations of Morocco, Algeria, and Libya, and by smaller populations of Tunisia, Northern Mali, Western and Northern Niger, Northern Burkina Faso, Mauritania, and in the Siwa Oasis of Egypt. Following it at number 9, we have Amharic. Amharic is an Ethiopian Semitic language. It is the second most commonly spoken Semitic language in the world after Arabic and ahead of Hebrew. With 32 million mother tongue speakers plus another 10 million second language speakers which adds to a total of 42 million people who can understand it. Amharic is written left to right using a system that grew out of the Ge'ez script used by the Orthodox Church. It is spoken as a first language by the Amharas and also serves as a lingua franca for other populations residing in major cities and towns of Ethiopia. It is one of the official languages, but the choice of Amharic as Ethiopia's national language is somewhat controversial as it is the language of just one of the many ethnic groups of the country. Next at number 8, Igbo. Igbo is a major language in Nigeria and it's spoken by many others in Cameroon, Gabon and Equatorial Guinea, but mostly in Southeast Nigeria in an area commonly known as Igboland. It's mostly spoken by Igbo people who form one of the largest ethnic groups in Africa. 45 million or 20% of Nigerians speak Igbo and another 2 million spread in the West African region understand it, bringing the Igbo population in Africa to 47 million people. In the opinion of Nigerian novelist Chinua Achebe, Igbo identity should be placed somewhere between a tribe and a nation. Since the defeat of the Republic of Biafra in 1970, the Igbo are sometimes classed as a stateless nation. At number 7 we have Oromo. Known locally as Afan Oromo, it is native to the Ethiopian state of Oromia and spoken predominantly by the Oromo people and neighboring ethnic groups in the Horn of Africa. It is used as a lingua franca, particularly in Ethiopia and northeastern Kenya. With more than 40 million speakers, making up 33% of the total Ethiopian population, 
Africa wide, it is spoken by another 15 million people, bringing the total of Romo speaking population to over 55 million people. It is also spoken by smaller numbers of emigrants in other African countries such as South Africa, Libya, Egypt and Sudan. Hey, before we move to the next language, I just want to ask you for a quick favor and that is can you like this video? That would mean the world to me. Hit that like button and let's jump right back into it. Moving on to number 6, we have Yoruba. Yoruba is a major language in southwestern Nigeria and other West African countries such as Ghana, Togo, Ivory Coast, Liberia and Sierra Leone. The number of people in the continent who speak Yoruba as their first or second language is approximately 50 million plus about 10 million second language speakers to add to a total of 60 million speakers. Yoruba vocabulary is used in the Afro-Brazilian religion known as Candomblé in the Caribbean religion of Santeria. Yoruba is written in a Latin alphabet, so these letters all carry different pronunciations. To start us off in the top five, we have Hausa. Hausa is a Chadic language spoken by the Hausa people, mainly within the northern half of Nigeria and the southern half of Niger, and with significant minorities in Chad, Benin and Cameroon. Hausa is a language with around 70 million native speakers and another 50 million who speak it as a second language. The numbers vary a lot by source, but the approximate total is about 120 million speakers. It is used as a lingua franca by non-native speakers and as a trade language across a much larger swath of West Africa in Benin. Ghana, Cameroon, Togo, Chad, and parts of Sudan. The Hausa are the largest ethnic group in sub-Saharan Africa, with the second most spoken language after Arabic in the Afro-Asiatic language family. At number four, we have Swahili. Swahili is one of the most spoken languages in Eastern Africa. There are more than 140 million people who speak it, but only 15 million people consider it to be their first language. It is the only African language in the African Union. The language developed as a result of interaction between coastal people of East Africa and Arab traders during the 14th and 15th centuries. Some of the countries in which Swahili is recognized include Tanzania, Kenya, Zanzibar, Uganda, Democratic Republic of Congo, Zambia, Mozambique, Madagascar, Malawi, Rwanda, Burundi and the Comoros Islands. Recently, 16 Southern African countries agreed to adopt Swahili as a formal language in their region, providing impetus for wider spread of one of the few shared African languages that is not colonial. In the top three, we shift away from indigenous African languages, French. Even after the withdrawal of French colonialism in Africa, its effects remain. Many former French colonies now use French as an official language. Generally, most people learn French as a second language. But in some areas, like the region of Abidjan in Ivory Coast or Libreville in Gabon, French is used predominantly as a first language. It is present in 31 African countries, used as an official language in 21 of them, and is spoken by over 150 million people, mostly in West and North Africa. The Democratic Republic of Congo is home to the largest French-speaking population, not just in Africa, but in the world. The rate at which French is used in some African countries has been dropping rapidly. For instance, French is the only official language of Mali, but it is barely spoken by its 24 million inhabitants who use the local language of Bambara as a lingua franca. Then we have English. Like French, the British introduced their language to Africa through colonization, and former colonies largely still use it. 
There are about two dozen African countries where English is spoken as an official language. Most of these countries are former British colonies, except for Rwanda and Eritrea, that were colonized by Belgium and Italy respectively. With 10 million native speakers and 180 million speakers total, all these countries recognize English as the official language. Although English holds the official status in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania, Swahili is the most preferred language. Rwanda recognizes both French and English as official languages, but the state promotes the use of English in school to coincide with other members of the East African bloc. Sierra Leone and Liberia are the only countries where English is spoken as the primary language. West African Pidgin English also has a huge presence in the continent with 75 million speakers. It is a Creole language that doesn't have a traditional written form, although the BBC a few years ago created a written standard. Finally, the most spoken language on the African continent is Arabic. 240 million African Arabic speakers account for approximately 62% of the world population of Arabic speakers, which stands at 450 million people. You can find Arabic language speakers in North Africa and a few sections of Sub-Saharan Africa. The language has its own regional dialects along with a modern standard Arabic, which is used in advertisements and the media. Although a few people argue that the regional dialects within Arabic are so different that they should be considered different languages, in the same way Romance languages in Europe, like Italian, French and Portuguese, are very similar, but also very different. Arabic is the official language of several countries in the continent, mostly in North Africa. The language did not originate in Africa, but today is the mother tongue of millions of Africans. As a result, it is the most common native language on the continent overall. Let me know in the comments what language you speak or understand, and if you'd like a similar video comprising only indigenous African languages. Together, these top 10 languages make up over 70% of Africa's population. So there you have it guys, don't forget to subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.